Today on Karamo. Marquise, you wanted me to unlock Angel's phone because you wanted proof to see if she was talking to other guys and accepting money, correct? Yes. Our unlock the phone investigator discovered. Oh! Pete, if I unlock this phone and there's nothing on it, is that enough for you? It is. Well, let's get to the results then. My guests today are couples in crisis, trying to sort out what is truth and what are lies. Angel says her relationship was fine until she heard from friends that her man was messing with an 18-year-old young woman. Take a look at this. I've been with Marquise going on three years. We love each other, we've been living together, and I would love to keep the relationship. I have a two-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. Marquise has came into our life when she was two months old, and he stepped up. She loved him and he loved her and we really need him. Marquise and I have been engaged for two and a half years. We both have rings on our fingers and I would love to move forward with the wedding. I'm a grown woman. She's only 18 years old and she's been posting a relationship all over Facebook. I found out that they spend the 4th of July together. Then I go on Facebook and I find out that he's sending roses. I deserve to know the truth. I want to be with Marquise, and he's sitting up here telling me it's nothing, when obviously it's something. Wow, that video was shocking to me because I haven't seen that myself. So listen, Angel is here with us right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What is going on? Well, Karimo, I meet Marquise around 2014. You know, we kind of hit it off real good. It was, it was fun. It was everything. Um... Around 2019, I ended up getting pregnant. Um, Marquise, we ended up losing contact. My, I ended up having my daughter in 2020. He ended up coming to stay with me and my child, and she was two months old at the time. Everything was good, everything was great, nothing wrong. Um, later on down the road, I get an inbox from my Facebook. Oh, do you know that Lena is messing with your man Marquise? No, I don't know that. Okay, so I still have the message in my phone. Who sent you that message? Her ex sent the message to me. Messy. Mm -hmm. I got the message in my phone, so I goes to show him the message. Mm -hmm. He deletes the message. He hides the message, he deletes the message. Fourth of July. Some go, I go scrolling on Facebook, scrolling on Facebook. First off, you started off barbecuing with me and my daughter. You left from barbecuing with us. Told me you was going to the studio. And then went to another Come to house. find out he was with her for the so fourth of July. So at this point now where he is spending time with Lena, how long have y'all been together? Because I want to just make sure I got the math right. We have been together going on almost three years. Three years? Yes. So three years of a relationship where he's been there to support you, support your daughter. Yes. And now has started engaging this relationship Openly. Five months relationship. Is he the father of your child? No, he's not. Okay. No. So he's not the father of your child, yet he's committed to you and your child. Yes. So that has to make this even more devastating. It definitely is. Like, I don't even know, like, how much I can cry anymore. Like, I done cried, I done cried, I done, poured, I done did everything. Like, it's not just me building a bond with him and me loving him and feeling the way I feel, but it's my daughter as well. Like, all she know is him as father, as daddy. Like, she's, she goes crazy for Marquise. Like, yes. they build a bond that can never be broken. Like, and I would never take that, even whatever comes, whatever is whatever, I would never take that away from him. Yeah. I would never take that away from him cause, because that's all she knows is daddy. Like, yeah, of course. I'm hurt. Like, this whole situation is just too much to handle. And I, I just want to know the truth. I just, what gets me is that to hear a young man that would decide to commit to another man's child and to be there for you doesn't add up with this other guy exactly. who's out here publicly embarrassing you in a sense, cheating on you. Exactly. I'm, I'm confused of like where that disconnect is. Yes. Have you talked to Lena at all? <laughs> 
It's been kind of a back and forth thing. Mm -hmm. I, me being the older person of, of her, I've tried to come and talk to her plenty of times. I've tried to sit down and all three of us and talk, but she, she young, of course, and she just reckless. She just come at me reckless. She come at me talk crazy and everything. So I just, I leave it alone. Have you ever met her in person? No, I have not. But listen, when we come back, I want to meet the other woman. Lena is with us. Stay here. Coming up, Angel, when was the last time you were um, intimate with Marquise? Huh, right before we came here. Oh, that's crazy, because we just had sex yesterday. And this morning. Oh, no. So three years of relationship where he's been there to support you, support your daughter. Yes. And now has started engaging this relationship openly. Have you ever met her in person? No, I have not. Welcome back, friends. I've been talking to Angel, and I now want to talk to the other woman. Please welcome Lena to the show. Hi, Lena. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? I have a hug. Please take a seat. Thank you. OK. This is your first time seeing each other face to face? Sure yes. is. How are you both feeling about this? I mean, I'm cool. I'm not cool. What are you feeling in this moment? Well, I don't like you at all. That's fine. For one, you brought my baby in a situation. For two, you have sex with my man. But how is it your man if he said that he not happy with you and that he don't want to be with you? We told each other we not happy. And then on top of that, he specifically said, how long does it take for a hoe to realize I don't want to marry her? So when you got with Marquise, Lena, did you know he had a fiance? Yes. So you were aware of it? Yeah. Nasty. Okay, and why did you still make the decision to be with him? Because if he ain't happy with her, then let him be happy. Oh, he's happy, baby. He's happy. Hey, it, he's it don't happy. matter about a ring. He's happy. Oh. We stay together, baby. He's that happy. don't matter. He's did you happy. know that they were raising a child together? Raising her child. His child, too. It's His. really not. Biologically, you don't make no difference, baby. It really do. <laughs> it really do. So, in that case, it's your child, not his. Our child, again. No. Yeah, you could put the quotes in there. Our child. Lena, I'm, 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 I'm wondering, why do you want to be with a man who's already in a relationship? I mean, if he don't want the relationship, so let him move on. Obviously, he wanted. He's still here. OK. Angel, when was the last time you were um, intimate with Marquise? Huh, right before we came here. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, because we just had sex yesterday and this morning. Oh, no! Can I ask you a question? How y'all had sex yesterday and this morning? Oh, the... He came to your room? Mm -hmm. Oh, he did? He came to my ass, too, baby. Okay. He came to my ass, hold too. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, because what, what I don't like seeing, and I, I gotta be real with y'all, I gotta be real with y'all, as, 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 as wild as this is, at the end of the day, what I see here is, like, two young women that could be my sisters, who could be my cousins, and this is, this hurts me a lot, because y'all are over here fighting over a man who's disrespecting you both. You yeah. are. I mean, there is no pride in the fact that he felt that he could sleep with you and sleep with you. And so I want to know, like, for you two, why are y'all arguing with each other if, if both of y'all basically in this point, and I don't like to call anyone victims, but in this sense, you are victims of a man's actions. Why are y'all fighting? I mean, I tried to come to her as a grown woman, but obviously she's a child. So I'm gonna step on her level and I'm gonna be on her level. Okay. And why are you mad at her? Oh, I'm not. Oh, what she is. is. What is? She is. Cause I still got your man. And I got him too. What's the oh, difference? Okay, then. So what am What's I mad difference? for? What's the difference? Exactly. So there's no point to be mad. You do seem upset. No. You do seem upset. And it's okay if you're upset. Listen, this is a space right now where we can be vulnerable for a second. Like, you are a young, beautiful woman. Like, literally. And there's a man that is disrespecting you. At this age, you don't deserve for a man to dis... This is where you should be, like, having fun. Having people fawn over you. Right. 
It can, it's okay if it makes you mad that the man that you are choosing to lay with is disrespecting you. It is okay if it makes you mad. It don't. So it does not make you mad at all that he's making this choice? No, because, like, me growing up, like, after all the stuff I've been through, I just became heartless. So it's like... Got it. That's heartbreaking. Come on. Y'all, we just heard a young woman say, because of my own trauma, I'm numb to this. I mean, I got trauma, too. I get it, yeah. No, I'm not taking away your trauma at all. I'm not saying any of that. But, but... you go about it a different way. How would you like this, her to go about this? And how would you like this communication to go forward? I mean... Because I'm going to bring out Marquise in a little bit. It ain't how she want to go about it. It's me. Yes, that's what I want to know. You... How do you want to go about this? Like, like... Because you did say you're older now. You I said am. you got it. You said I know what's going on. You said before that you went to her level. I can understand that. In the heat of anger, when I was younger... So you could, you could, anybody could have caught it outside. Yep. So yep. I'm not going to pretend right here, like, yep. just because yep. I've grown. Yep. yep. I was younger. And that's exactly how I feel right now, you know? I but, feel like... But, but at some point, we do evolve. At some yes. point, we grow. Yes. So when we get back, everyone, I want to talk to Marquise, the man who is in the middle and doing all of this, because that's who actually needs to be handling the situation. So we'll be right back. Coming up. You had sex with her last night or this morning? You was with I did not have sex with you last night. Lie again. Angel, when was the last time you were intimate with Marquise? Huh, right before we came here. Oh, that's crazy, because we just had sex yesterday and this morning. Can I ask you a question? How y'all had sex yesterday and this morning? Y'all over here fighting over a man who's disrespecting you both. I've been talking to Angel and Lena, who claim to be in love with the same man. Let's meet him. Please, everyone, welcome Marquise to my show. I'm gonna hear your side, so I'm gonna hey, shake hey. your hand. How you doing? Welcome to How the show. You? Good. So tell me, why are we here? We're here because of a situation that had happened with Angela. Now, I understand you heard both of what they were saying, but for the most part of it, everything that they're saying is based off how they feel, but it's not true. Because at the end of the day, there's more reason behind everything. I'm, I'm willing like, to hear your side. I've been with Angela almost three years. Mm -hmm. And when I first got into the situation, I told her about everything I've been through in my past. She looked me directly in my face and told me, oh, I'm not going to take you through the same thing that these other people did, like, specifically. So when we started talking to that thing, she was telling me, like, yeah, I got this guy to help me and everything. Now, as me being the man I am, if I'm your man and we're in a relationship, it should be only me and you. Why are you dependent and calling on another man when I'm working, I'm taking care of you, I'm there for the shade and everything? So when he came to you and said, this guy being a part of our relationship is hurting me, what was your response? I didn't really have a response because at that time I was too caught up in my head or uh, what he wasn't doing, what he was doing. Oh, he doing this for me, he doing that for me. I don't got to do nothing with him. I could get it what I want it, how I want it. And at that point, I wasn't caring. I wasn't thinking. You're trying to survive. Exactly. I was providing for my family. Survival but see, mode. that wasn't a thing because when I came to her on several occasions, she looked at me dead in my face. She said, how you going to be mad at me because another man doing what you can't? Now, keep in mind, I'm working. I moved from Chicago to Rockford to be out here with her. I had my job transferred and everything. It ain't like I came out here having you taking care of me, needing stuff from you or nothing. That was never the case. I asked for one thing. If it's going to be me and you, I feel like as your man, you shouldn't be taking nothing from no other man. Yeah. But for you to stand there and throw that in my face, talking about some, oh, how you mad at me because he's doing what you can, it's unacceptable. Yeah. And so at that point, when one thing led to the another, why didn't you end this relationship? Because I love her. Yes, but sir. by staying, you're inadvertently hurting two people. But me leaving, I'll be hurting two people also. Who are those two people? Her and Deshae. Got it. Got it. Why does Deshae mean so much to you? I've been in her life since she was two months. Like, when I came around, she just adapted to me so quickly. It's like, it felt like it was meant to be. When I came into her life, it felt like that I was legitimately her father. She looks up to me. She tried to do everything I do. I'm her biggest role model. That ass, the person she really loves. And 
if I leave her, I won't just be leaving her, but I'll be leaving her also. Yeah. The reason behind all this is because of the things that have been going on that I've been talking to her about. This ain't the first time I didn't want to her crying because this is somebody who I want to be with. It is. But at the end of the day, it's like she's sitting up here saying, oh, for the 4th of July, he went out with her and he stayed out for three days, which is a lie. That was July 21st when I left out, but she was talking to another person when that thing came up and everything. You sit up in my face constantly and tell me, oh yeah, I'm gonna stop talking to him, I'm gonna stop talking to him. And every time you go behind my back, you block him, you unblock him. Just on September 1st, you lied to me. You told me, oh, my grandma sent me some money. But in reality, you still taking things from this other man. But how could you take something from another man or interact any way with another man, but you won't feel some type of way when I talk to another female or I'm in a relationship with another female? All right. All right. It's is he telling the truth? Yes, he is. He's right. The second person he talking about, I did. Um, met the man, um, just having a conversation. I don't get along with females. So I talk to men. Not a lot of men. I do have some men friends. But it's the difference between having male friends and getting things from them. Yes. Getting gifts. Yes. I could understand how, and again, I'm not excusing anyone's behavior right now, but I can't understand how that could cause you to feel a certain way. But now there's a third person that's been involved in this, and now we're not talking about your daughter, we're talking about you, Lena. Marquise, like, talk to Lena here, because now she's involved. Can I in say this. something? Sure, you can. You had sex with her last night this morning? Last night and this morning, no. Didn't you say he had sex with I you had last, sex night, this last night and this morning? Last night, yes, you did. So you walked to her hotel room and walked to mine's? No. You told her I had sex with you last night and this morning? Last night. You was with I me. I did not have sex with you last night. Oh. Lie again. Can I? Can I? Take a moment. And that's crazy because both of these women right here know what to say to get under each other's skin. When I just sat back and I just told her, no, I did not come to her room and no, I didn't. You seen a little smirk she gave? They know exactly what to say to get under each other's skin. Coming up. Are you currently pregnant? That is not a question that you need to know. Oh, yes, it is. Are you currently pregnant? Because he told me you are. You are the guy. You're up on stage. You had sex with her last night this morning? No. Didn't you say he had sex with I you had last sex night this last morning? Night this morning. Last night, yes, you did. And that's crazy because both of these women right here know what to say to get under each other's skin. What's going through your mind? Because you had to get up and take a moment. I believe everything she say. What I want to know is, how many times y'all have sex? I don't even want to talk to you. How many times y'all have sex? Too many to count. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm gonna tell you something. Because I know that what that response right there was from your pain and your trauma. She actually came out here and said she believed you. She didn't come out here and call you a liar. She didn't come out here and say any of those things. And that's because the reason why she say the things she say, because she know everything that come out of her mouth, she's gonna believe. Do you want a long-term thing, relationship with her? My thing is, and what I've been feeling this whole time, if she can't stop talking to Thomas, yes, I did. That is what I said. I want if she can't stop talking to Thomas. But Lena, she know exactly what to say to get under this woman's skin. And well, that's not right because- we're going back up because, because besides getting underneath someone's skin, you just said, did you hear those words? He said, if she can stop doing something, then I'll talk to her. So he's basically saying, you the second choice. I want to know right now, can you make a choice to choose one today? No. Marquise, can you make a choice to choose one? Nah. How can you make a choice when you don't know what choice to make? All right. Marquise, you wanted me to unlock Angel's phone because you wanted proof to see if she was talking to other guys and accepting money, correct? Yes. So let's do them now. I just had a question. Can you sit back? Are you currently pregnant? That is not a question that you need to know. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Are you currently pregnant? Because he told me you are. So are you currently pregnant? 
Well, you you, you told him you was pregnant. He told me. I, I, it's a, I need to know because, as you can see, this is my man. So, I want to know what's going on. So, she ain't pregnant? You asked her the question. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, because we can end this real quick. I, I, you told my producers you're not pregnant. Yeah, because not at this moment. Oh, so this See, right here, over with. See, but the whole thing is, why we was doing what we was doing? Oh, he ended up getting me pregnant, and but I had not, a miscarriage. I, but, I, but you're not pregnant now. No. And I asked that question because he told me he was only talking to her because she was pregnant. And that's crazy, because you only told me you was talking to her because of the baby. You just had an epiphany, and you just had an epiphany. And we can't get over that. You just realized he giving you the same story he giving her, just both of y'all getting played Different by ways. in the middle. All right, Marquise, you want to know if she was still communicating with Thomas, correct? Our unlocked the phone investigator discovered, yes, via Cash App, five transactions in the past three weeks. Mm -hmm. So you know she's still talking to him. Marquise, you also want to know if she's been communicating with the mystery man, and we unlocked the phone and discovered, yes, over 100 deleted interactions in the past eight weeks. The in investigator also found downloaded dating apps like Tinder on her phone. So now you have that information. So Marquise, would you like to make a choice now? And what I want to say is, before the show was uh, occurred, I asked him, I say, if this girl not pregnant, you're going to leave her alone. I do, I leave Thomas alone, you leave this girl alone. Obviously, she ain't pregnant, so we got things to do. Okay, so Marquis, she's saying that she'll stay with you. Do you want to stay with her? It's a yes or a no. You ain't got to hesitate. You say yes, it's a yes. You say no, I'm get on with my life. I'm going to talk to the youngest on this panel, and I want you to be here with me. Mm -hmm. Because these two are already in a situation that is unhealthy. Do you believe you deserve to be in a situation that's not dysfunctional? Yeah, but that's at the it. Same just stay time. yes, just stay yes, stay there, stay there with me, stay there with me. Yes, you now know you deserve to be in a situation that's not dysfunctional. Can you make the choice to leave the dysfunction? Yes, but at the same Stay at yes. Can I explain? <laughs> no. Because the thing is, is like listen, I'm looking at a young, beautiful woman who doesn't have to be in a dysfunctional situation. These two have history. You don't need to be in this. So just tell me one more time clearly, are you ready to make the choice to find somebody who can love you and only you? Yes and no. <laughs> All right, this is the thing. I'm gonna try to give you a little bit more resources after we, we finish with the show. Because all of y'all need some resources understanding how your choices not only affecting y'all, but they're affecting other people. And when you make unhealthy choices for yourself out of trauma from your past, out of survival, out of being afraid to have people hurt you again, because that's what you do with Marquise. You end up, all y'all end up getting hurt at the end of the day. And y'all can make better choices. All right, listen, when we come back, there'll be more Couples in Crisis, so stay tuned. Coming up, Pete, if I unlock this phone and there's nothing on it, is that enough for you? It is. Well, let's get to the results then. So my next pair have been married for 11 years, but have been together for 18. They have two high school age children and a third child. Jane says they were happy until a devastating car accident changed everything. Her husband survived the accident, but doctors found a tumor at the base of his neck on his spine. She says their marriage has suffered since that point. Pete called the show asking for my help. Please, everyone, take a look at this. In 2007, I was involved in a bad car accident. It, it put me down for a long time. I wasn't able to earn for my family, to provide for them the way that I wanted to, the way I was raised to. That sent me down a long road of, of pain and grief. I became addicted to painkillers, alcohol, made some bad decisions, and then ended up in prison. And my wife found comfort in somebody else, her ex. This is something that's torn us apart for years, and I don't know where else to turn, but I need to find some answers and some, some closure. So my wife says she's not cheating. I'd like to unlock her phone to see if she's telling the truth. Karamo, can you help me? 
That I can help with, but first I want to talk to Pete's wife, Jane. Jane, how are you doing today? Doing well. Thank good, you. Good, good. Jane, why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship? 18 years. That's my whole adult life. Mm -hmm. um, you look young, so it's not thanks. the Thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Aging well. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning, it was, you know, honeymoon phase. Yes. Fell in love. And then after the accident, found the tumor, and he got depressed. So it's been a struggle. It's hurt our family a lot. Um, the kids struggle with it, just how he reacts, you know, to certain things. It's hard, it's yeah. really hard. That's a beautiful family right there. <laughs> Why do you think he thinks you're cheating on him? Guilty conscience, you know? So and you say guilty conscience, does that mean he's cheated on you? Yeah. How many times? Five different times, but a total of two women. I know for a fact, but there's a lot of maybes. And so this is why we're here. We need your help. So let me get this right. He was an accident. Mm -hmm. You stepped up, mm -hmm. supported him, mm -hmm. the children, mm -hmm. and he still stepped out on you. Yeah, he did. Everybody makes mistakes. Five of them, though? And I'm not judging. You know, I'm just asking a question. Five is a lot. I'm a forgiving person. Forgiveness is my weakness. Mm -hmm. I try to leave, you know, go somewhere for a night, but I can't. It's my world. Yeah. Yeah. You, how many times have you caught him cheating, actually? The first woman, none. I just... <laughs> I pretended I was him when she texted him one morning at five o'clock while I was getting ready for work. Wow. Yeah, it was wrong, but that's how I found out he cheated on me with her. The second person, I found a video on his phone <gasps> and confronted him about it. He denied it. What was he doing in the video? Um, stuff. So I need to know because if the reason is he if was you being, asked him my He help, was being intimate with another was he woman. Having sex? Yes. So you watched your husband, who you're supporting, have sex with another woman? Yes. Whoa. What did that do to you? It crushed me. But I know he wasn't like that before. I had no issues with infidelity. I had no issues with believing him, trusting him, until the accident. You know, I don't know if the tumor's growing to where it's growing into his brain stem. Something's happened to his reasoning, his thinking. So let me get this straight, because I'm no doctor. But you think a tumor has sat on his mind and told him that he no longer knows when not to cheat and to cheat? I think it, it's doing, it could possibly, like his thinking, his reasoning, judgment, you know? on those lines, only because it does affect the frontal lobe and his cognitive reasonings and stuff like that. It, it sounds like you're making a lot of excuses for him. Why are you making excuses for him? Because he's my heart. I took a vow and I'm, I'm staying true to it just because, you know, yeah, someone may cheat on you and it doesn't, it doesn't make it right, but you can help, you can get through but didn't things you both like this. make a vow? Come on, you said yes, that we, I made a vow mm -hmm. and I'm holding true, but didn't you both stand up there and make that vow? We did. We did. How is this affecting your children? Um, of course, in the worst kind of way, um, <laughs> our 16 year old daughter refuses to date a guy because she says, if this is how all men treat women, then I don't want to be with one. And I'm like, not, it's not, not all men treat women like this. And then the littlest one, he's rude. It's respect. So your daughter's having trust issues mm -hmm. and your youngest is having respect issues. Mm -hmm. Both are that are a direct reflection yes. of him disrespecting you so you can't trust him and now it's just going in a big cycle with your kids. Correct. All right, everyone, listen, we'll talk to Jane's husband, Pete, when we come back, so make sure you stay with us.
Why do you think he thinks you're cheating on him? Guilty conscience. So you say guilty conscience, does that mean he's cheated on you? Yeah. Friends, I'm back with Jane, who is trying to save her marriage. Now I want to talk to her husband, Pete. So everyone, please welcome Pete to the show. Good to see you. You look nice. So, thank you for being here. First thank of all, you. I'm really happy that you're alive and safe because that car crash, I couldn't imagine what that did. But with that being said, I'm hearing about all this cheating. What's been going on? First of all, I brought us here to save our marriage. Mm -hmm. We had some issues with infidelity on her part as well. After I had the accident, going to the doctors, I became addicted to painkillers. Mm -hmm. I drank to dull the pain and I made some bad decisions, ended up in prison. During that time, she confided in somebody else. Can't, can't say that I blame her. I never confided in anyone else. Ex-boyfriend, talked to on the phone, he was having issues, and that was that. It was the conversations about what was going on in his life. I never approached him outside. I, I haven't done anything wrong besides talking on the phone to this guy. Mm -hmm. Talking on the phone, that does not constitute us cheating. No, it does not. So then, so then why do you think, Pete, that she cheated? She's just real secret with her phone. When I walk in the room, she, she'll turn away or she, she'll always hold it to where, to where I can't see it. It's just suspicious. A lot of suspicious things that she does. And, I tell her about it and she says, you know, tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can fix it. So I'll explain it to her. Holding my phone like this, day. playing a game, I don't hide it. He has my phone all the time. He goes through my phone all the time. Is that the truth? You have I, her phone? I do. I go through her phone often. Okay. My producers told me before we came out here that you track her phone and her car. Is that true? She has location sharing on her phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's about the extent of but it. But you I also have, put recording devices in the vehicle? I have put recording devices in, in, in the vehicle because, just because she's... Going to work and coming home, you're, I don't, you're right. that doesn't lead to cheating any, on you. I go to work and I come home. It's what I do every single day. Why don't you trust your wife? Because I've done it as well, maybe. Maybe that's something subconsciously that's, that's, um, that I'm reflecting. <laughs> it sounds bad, I know. How do you think this is affecting your relationship with your children? It's horrible. They're, they're seeing what I saw growing up. I always, I always wanted to be a good father because mine wasn't. Yeah. And that right there was a driving force in my life, was to be a good father, to be there to listen, to understand, but also, you know, to discipline, to teach them right from wrong. Do you think you're teaching your kids right from wrong? Not like this, mm. no. And, and it sucks because I've become the biggest hypocrite in my own life. Mm. Why is this marriage worth saving to you? This is my baby. Mm -hmm. I, I love her. Yeah. I've, I've always loved her, regardless of what I've done. She's been there. She's been there through thick and thin. She always has. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. And honestly, I don't, I don't deserve her. I don't. Mm. I know that she, she deserves so much better. I want her to have better, but I want her to have me. Mm. That's, I, I do, I love her. More than words can describe. Yeah. For better or for worse, right? If yes, this is the worst it is, then it can only get better. Well. That remains to be seen, because when we get back, <laughs> we'll unlock Jane's phone right after this. Coming up, the marriage is supposed to be about for better and growth. I've been saying the same stuff for five years, that I'm not a liar, I'm not a cheater. Well, let's get to the results then.
My producers told me that you track her phone and her car. Is that true? <laughs> it sounds bad, I know. I'm here with Pete and Jane. Uh, Pete says the only way their marriage will survive is if his wife proves that she is not cheating by unlocking her phone. Now, if I unlock this phone and it reveals something, what will you do? Ask her why. We know an the answer why. I just want to know that she can tell me the truth regardless of how bad it hurts. But I have been. I don't lie to you. I don't cheat on you. I don't hide stuff from you. Pete, if I unlock this phone and there's nothing on it, is that enough for you? It is. It is? It is. And you won't start, the accusations will stop? They will. Because I heard something that was very toxic and unhealthy, and at first I wasn't going to bring it up, but I think it's here to bring up, just to like really show the level. My producers told me that you recently requested from her last night to smell her underwear. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because you're here. Right. You've come to a new city, she knows no one, and you're still accusing her of cheating. Not last night. It wasn't last night. It, no. When was it? This was, this was uh, within a the week? past couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, she, no, she, was, she was, went to a friend's house. Um, she wasn't there. Yes, I was. I was there. And she comes back. She looked real disheveled, kind of... Uh, Sweaty and just looked like something had been going on. And listen, after 18 years, I know what I know what she smells like. I know, you know, I know what we smell like. But and she wouldn't. She would not do it. She refused to. Okay, but so, but can you understand how degrading? I know that it, is? It, it does. It to does. To ask your wife, mm -hmm. I know, to smell her undergarments. Honestly. You know that I'm not a cheater, but yet you still accuse me every day. I'm still a liar every day. Well, let's get to the results then. So, Pete, you wanted to know if Jane was communicating with the list of eight men and eight separate numbers. I will unlock the phone investigator discovered after a deep and extensive search of your phone. We went back years. Good. Nice. And there was not a single thing found on your wife's phone. <laughs> what is making you emotional right now? Just the fact that he didn't believe me. I've been saying the same stuff for five years that I'm not a liar I'm not a cheater after he cheated on you and after he went to jail which is a bit of like him abandoning you and your family did you forgive him I did I did I never left his side do you really believe that she forgave you I do because if you truly believe that she forgave you I'm wondering why are you punishing her why are you putting her through this turmoil Guilty conscience. If you can do it, so can I. I think yes, more so than is. guilty, you're scared mm -hmm. that she'll do it. And you're not just scared that she'll do it because you did it. You're scared that you're not worthy enough for a woman who stood by your side through all of this. Yeah. See, I think sometimes when we talk about self-esteem, a lot of times we focus on women. And we focus on like a woman's self-esteem and how it's affecting her in a relationship. But brother, your self-esteem is low. You have to get over that right now. I'm very, very sorry for the things you've been through. But you don't have a right to continue to pass that on. Can you tell your wife right now, I'll stop disrespecting you? I will stop disrespecting you. Now that you've acknowledged that you'll stop disrespecting her, there's a very important next step. Is that you have to sit your children down without your wife and say to them, dad did these things that made you feel like it's okay to disrespect your mother. Dad did these things that made you feel like you can't trust men. Dad did these things that he's now going to start making new actions so he can be better. Because if you don't rectify the relationship with your children, it's only gonna to continue to get worse and worse and it's going to bleed into this marriage. You cannot allow it anymore. There's no more listening and being understanding and all of that stuff. I'm allowing it. You're allowing it. So stop allowing it. 
their names can't be any more for better and worse. That type of stuff, I don't know where we put that in. Who wrote that line? I don't know who did it. But marriage is supposed to be about for better and growth. Right. Yeah. Understood. Y'all want to embrace? <laughs> you want to say you're sorry to your wife? <laughs> Everyone, thank you for being with us. Don't forget to come back next time so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.